Hi, I'm Sammy and this is Sammy's Tips. Today we're going to go over updating your Triton key machine if you're on version older than version 60 or a partial version. So the first thing that you're going to want to do with your Triton is to check and see what version of software you're on. So we're going to go to the top right corner to the three white lines and we're going to go to machine info. Now on the machine info page, you can see your version number at the top here and ours is on version 66 but yours might be version 55 or maybe 61.2 as an example if you're on a version that's older than version 60 or you're on a partial version like that 61.2 you will have to delete and reinstall the software with the newer version in order to get the updates so we're going to go ahead and connect to wi-fi and we're going to start to uninstall and reinstall the new software. First thing we're going to do is we're going to swipe up from the bottom of the screen for this taskbar. We're going to hit the circle button in the middle. This will take us out of the Triton app into the Android test desktop. And we're going to go to the gear icon for the settings. And we're going to go to Wi-Fi. So as you can see here, we're already connected to the internet. But if you aren't already, you're going to want to select your network and just tap on it, enter in your password, and then hit connect. So we'll need to be connected to a strong Wi-Fi network. Most likely a hotspot, it may work, but if it's a weak signal, you'll probably want to wait until you're connected with a router because it can cause software corruption um, when you're downloading the software and installing. So we're going to hit the back button. Uh, after the Wi-Fi is connected, we're going to go to apps and this is going to be a list of all the apps on the machine. We're going to scroll and we're going to select the Triton app and we're going to go ahead and hit this uninstall button in just a moment. Now before we do this you want to make sure that if you have any important data in your Triton software such as custom profiles, favorites, or cut histories that you want to keep and store you need to make sure you back up that data first because it is not recoverable once you uninstall this app but once you're good to go you can go ahead and hit the uninstall button and i'll say do you want to uninstall this app we we'll hit ok and it's already finished it says uninstall finish so now we're done with this part and we're going to go and hit the circle button at the bottom so we exit from the settings. We're going to go to the globe icon for the browser. And you can see here it's loading up our page. And it's loading up on the Triton Key Machine software update page. But for most people, it's going to load up on this TritonKeyMachine.com homepage. If you don't get to this page, all you need to do is tap on the address bar up here. Type in TritonKeyMachine.com hit the go button and it'll load this page for you, bring you to the website. Now all you'll need to do is hit the support tab right here. You wanna hit the software update button and it's gonna bring you to the page where we have our files listed. So now we're just gonna swipe up a little bit and we're towards the bottom of the page. And right here we have our two files, we have Triton v66 APK and we have Triton plus v66 APK. Now it's very important to make sure you're downloading the correct one. Otherwise you can run into some errors and different messages and some problems when you're trying to use the machine if you are on um, the wrong version of software. They are not cross compatible. So one way that you can tell if you're on the Triton or Triton plus is if you look down at your Triton shields you will see a sticker that will say either Triton or Triton Plus. That's one way you can tell. Another way you can tell is if you go to the silver sticker underneath the screen. On that sticker, it'll have a serial number that starts with E and a two. And the last four are what you're gonna be looking at. If the first number of the last four digits starts with a five, so let's say the last four is 5012, that would mean that your machine is a regular Triton. 
and you would want to download the Triton V66 APK. Now, if the last four started with an eight, like maybe it's 8065, that would be a Triton Plus. So you can tell by your serial number as well. So for this machine, we have a Triton Plus. We're gonna tap on the Triton Plus APK and we're gonna do open with ES Downloader just once. And now it's starting to download. So it's showing here that we have about a minute and a half left and it has the blue progress bar going along. And we'll just wait for this to finish. All right, so now you'll see a message on the screen saying download successfully. So now we know that the machine has downloaded the software, but it is not fully installed yet. So now to install it, we're gonna go ahead and hit the open folder button. And this is gonna bring up the downloads folder stored on the machine, showing all the different things. So then we're gonna tap on where it says Triton Plus APK. And when we tap on it, it's gonna bring up this little menu. We wanna hit the install button. And I was asking a lot with some more time to make sure we wanna install it. We're gonna hit install. And we're gonna let this start installing and it should show a progress bar along the top. All right, so now it shows that it says app installed. We're gonna go ahead and hit the circle button and we're gonna go to this white circle with the six dots here, show our apps. And we're gonna select the Triton app. And it's going to go ahead and launch here and we're going to have to register the machine. So for the registration, we're gonna need the serial number and the code, which are on that silver sticker underneath the screen we mentioned earlier. So the one with the serial number is going to be the numbers that start with E2, and the code is going to be the letters and numbers. So real quick here, we're gonna go ahead and type it in with our serial number. All right, so we have everything typed in here is what your screen should look like. And once everything's typed in good, we're gonna hit the OK button. So we'll just take just a moment. And as you can already see, we are back into the Triton app. So if you wanna verify that your update has been successful, you can go back to the top right corner with the three lines. We're gonna to go to machine info, and you can see here version 66. So yours should say this as well. And once you're on this version of software, you will be able to update through Wi-Fi afterwards. So if you go back to the home page at this point, you need to update, which should be roughly once a month. You'll go back to the three white lines, but this time you'll hit software upgrade. You would select your main server. And if there's anything new, it would tell you with a pop-up here. But besides that, you are updated, good to go. Only thing you'll need to do is just recalibrate the machine before you can decode or cut any keys. And that was Sammy's tips for the week. If you'd like to see more videos like this and not miss out on any tips, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you liked the video and would like to see more, please hit that like button. Until next week.